a pump can be used to either fill or drain a tank the capacity of the tank is 4500 meter cube the draining capacity of the pump is 10 meter cube per minute higher than its filling capacity what is the draining capacity of the pump if it takes 15 minutes more to fill the tank than to drain it right so basically there is a pump now the advantage of this pump is it can be used to fill or drain the tank it can be used for filling the tank or draining the tank meaning emptying the tank now the capacity of the tank is 4500 meter cube the total capacity of the tank is 4500 meter cube which is the volume of the tank basically the draining capacity of the pump is 10 meter cube per minute higher than its filling capacity what is the draining capacity of the pump if it takes 15 minutes more to fill the tank than to drain it you're able to follow the same pump can be used to fill the tank as well as empty the tank suppose if the draining capacity is same as filling capacity the capacity at which the pump is filling the tank is same as the capacity at which it is emptying the tank then it will take the same time to fill the tank or to empty the tank but in this case you see the draining capacity of the pump is 10 meter cube per minute higher than its filling capacity which means it can drain faster its draining capacity is more right so time taken to drain will be lesser than the time taken to fill and that's what is given in the last part here you see what is the draining capacity of the pump if it takes 15 minutes more to fill the tank than to drain it to fill the tank will take more when compared to draining the tank okay so let's let's uh, try this out okay now let's assume that the draining capacity of the pump is d and the filling capacity is f right the rate at which it can fill is f and the rate at which it can drain is d according to the question the draining capacity of the pump is 10 meter cube higher than its filling capacity which means d is equal to f plus 10 you're getting it draining i mean capacity is meter cube per minute only capacity should be measured in meter cube per minute how much water can be filled per minute 10 meter cube water can be filled per minute example right so draining capacity is 10 meter cube per minute more than the filling capacity so d equals to f plus 10 that's one equation that you have to remember okay d and f are the capacities now time taken to drain is equal to what the total capacity divided by draining capacity d similarly time taken to fill is equal to what the total capacity of the tank divided by the filling capacity time is equal to see the total capacity the total volume is 4500 i can fill at d uh, at the rate of let's say uh, you know 100 uh, meter cube per minute so 4500 by 100 will give me the time taken to drain similarly 4500 by filling capacity will give me the time taken to fill so tf and td are the other two variables so tf td comes out to be what 4500 divided by d and tf comes out to be what same 4500 divided by f again if you see the question says that it takes 15 minutes more to fill the tank than to drain it it takes 15 minutes more to fill the tank than to drain it which means time taken to fill is equal to time taken to drain plus 15. see it looks to be complex but when you do the whole solution and you understand it it becomes easy right time taken to fill is equal to time taken to drain plus 15. it takes 15 minutes extra to fill than to drain what is time taken to fill time taken to fill is 4500 by f so i can say 4500 by f equals to time taken to drain 4500 by d but this d is actually nothing but uh, f plus 10 right so i can say f plus 10 here you understand d can be replaced with f plus 10 instead of d i can write f plus 10 f plus 10 plus 15 that's it this is one equation that you have to solve he's asking us to find out the draining capacity of the pump what is the draining capacity of the pump there's only one equation with this equation you will get f once you get f you can also get d you're able to follow so don't don't again go by the length of the explanation right you don't have to write these steps in the exam these are all explanations draining capacity d filling capacity f d equals to f plus 10 td equals to 4500 by d tf equals to 4500 by f all these are general points you need not put on paper what you'll put on paper is this the time taken to fill is time taken to drain plus 15. so time taken to fill is 4500 by f these are all mental understanding right and then 4500 by f plus 10 plus 15 now solve for f solve for f so what happens uh, this will be like 4500 by f equals to 4500 plus 
15 into f plus 10 divided by f plus 10. I mean, you will get a quadratic equation, you just have to solve for f, right? You have to solve for f. In fact, you can also go by options if you want. You can go by options to verify which option satisfies here. Like, like for example, he's asking the draining capacity. You know that draining capacity is filling capacity plus 10. So the draining capacity here is given as 50. I can say filling capacity will be 40. If the draining capacity is 60 according to the option, filling capacity should be 50. If the draining capacity is 40 according to this option, filling capacity should be 30. So that f equals to 30 can be substituted to check if it is satisfies, if it satisfies this equation. If yes, then that's the answer. Otherwise, go to the next option and so on. Or solve for f directly. Okay, so solve for f. So this becomes 4500 plus 15f plus 150, right? 15 into f plus 150. So 15f plus 150. Now cross multiply. So we get 4500f plus 4500 into 10. 4500 into 10. So 45,000 equals to this is 4500f, right? Plus 15f into f is 15f squared plus 150 into f is 150f. Now solve what happens. 4500f and 4500f gets cancelled. We have 15f squared plus 150f plus 45,000. Again, if you take 15 common, 15 into 1, 15 into 10, and 15 into 3000. So basically, the equation here is f squared plus 10f minus 3000 equals to 0. So this should be taken as 60 minus 50. You know how to simplify a quadratic equation, right? 60 minus 50. 60 minus 50 right 60f minus 50f so it will be f into f plus 60 minus f into f plus 60 sorry minus 50 into f plus 60 i mean after you simplify that i'm assuming you know what to do equals to 0 right f squared plus 50f minus 60f is 10f minus 3000 so from this what happens f comes out to be this means f is either equal to 50 or minus 60 but can the filling capacity be negative can the capacity be negative no so f is equal to 50 filling capacity is 50 Yeah, if the filling capacity is 50, the draining capacity, filling capacity is 50, draining capacity. From this, what do we get? From this, we can say draining capacity is 50 plus 10, 60, 60 meter cube per minute should be the answer. Option B will be the answer. Draining capacity will be 60 meter cube per minute. Please do not go by the length of the explanations. Like I've said, all that we have on the you know left hand side here is just basic points given in the question itself you don't have to write all these steps right or there's another way if you if you don't want to put pen on paper at all you can you can start from the options directly yeah, how do you start from the options let, let me explain you that also right let me use a different color to explain how to go by options how to go completely by options this is the method you have to solve this quadratic equation right i mean don't look at all these steps and think it's lengthy you have to do it to oh, get the answer right filling capacity comes out to be 50 draining capacity 60 option b is the answer if you want to avoid the whole of this you can go by options how do you go by options look at this for example you look at option a according to option a according to option a the draining capacity is 50 d is equal to 50 implies f should be equal to what 40 because we know that the draining capacity is 10 more 10 higher than filling capacity. So D is 50 means F equals to 40. Now find out the time to drain according to option A, time to drain. See time is nothing but total capacity by draining capacity. So 4500 by 50, 4500 by 50, that comes out to be 90, right? Time to fill, what is the time to fill? 4500 by 40. Will it give you an integer value first of all? No, it will not give you an integer value. Now he says the difference between these two times is 15 minutes. Time taken to fill is 15 minutes more than time taken to drain. Will it give you exact 15 minutes? No. Will it give you 75? Will it give you not 5? No. It will not give you. It will not. It will not give an integer value in the first place. If it is not an integer, a non-integer minus an integer will give you a non-integer. But I want a 15 minutes answer. I mean 15 minutes as answer. So option A is wrong. 
If I go with option B, option B says D equals to 60, draining capacity is 60. Implies time taken to drain is how much? 4500 by 60. 4500 by 60 will be 75. 75 minutes. If draining capacity is 60, filling capacity is 50. And time taken to fill will be how much? 4500 by 50, which comes out to be 90. Is it 15 minutes more or not? Time taken to fill is 90. Time taken to drain is 75. How much more? 15 minutes more. That's what is given here, 15 minutes more. So option B is the answer. Right? Option C. Suppose you want to try option C. What happens option C? Draining capacity is 40. Filling capacity is 30. Here is the why you should know it cannot be an answer because 4500 by 40 will give me a non-integer value. And 4500 by 30 will give me an integer value. The difference of a non-integer and integer value, difference of a non-integer and an integer value cannot be 15. Cannot be an integer. So C is ruled out. And so on. So option B is the answer. But see, understand, you will be able to do this only when you know the concept behind this, right? Using options is just about calculation. I have always preferred using options. But not at the cost of not knowing the regular method. You should know this method. You should know this method also. You getting it? Half of it is only quadratic equation. I mean, cross multiplication. The, the only step, most important step here is this. This you should be able to apply. Everything else is just calculation, right? Cross multiplication, quadratic equation, simplification and all that. Okay. Anyway, answer is option B, 60 meter cube per minute.